this time we're in Bordentown, New Jersey, very historic place. And uh, we're going to get the thoughts of the people. It's a unique little town. Everybody's friendly. Two cyclists already passed me and said, excuse me. Uh, and a municipal worker greeted me. That's, uh, that's different. How you guys doing? What is your pressing issue? I know you guys are thinking. Too many trees in this town. Tell me, tell me. Cutting down trees? Environmental? Yes, environmental. Okay. Yep. And um, how about environmental Tesla? Okay, is, is, is that good? Is that bad? Or should we all go green and electric? Green New Deal? Tell me, tell me. Environmental. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Because I'm going to have grandchildren at some point, and I would like them to live in a a nice earth on a nice earth. Yeah. There's a. Uh, enjoy going out in the woods and hiking, and we've been to Bar Harbor. We've been, you know, lots of places, Acadia National Park, and we enjoy nature. So. New Jersey just brought back. The governor just brought back uh, bear hunting after he banned it for years. Good, good, good call or bad call. It's a shame that we're there that we're taking away their habitats. I feel bad for them. I don't know what to do about it. You're very serious on if they're pro or pro-life or pro-choice. Is that a big issue for you? That is a big issue, yeah. What's what's your issue? I'm afraid to say I don't have any issues right now. Nothing. It's just a migraine. So we're here with? Yaffe. Yaffe? Yep. Okay, you just, you just get a haircut? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it I looks did. good. I did. Okay, Who so are we with? Uh, we're independent journalists. We travel America. We get the thoughts of the people. Okay, so, thoughts so, of the people. Yeah, so what we want to know is what is your pressing issue? It could be legal, social, political, but what is... What is your issue? Ooh, that's a big one. The price of stuff is going up. So, yeah. I went to Acme the other day, and butter cost me, like, close to $8, and that's a problem because I'm under 30, and I like to eat, and, you know, that's just a problem. I like to eat and food. Yeah, you got to eat. It's expensive. Yeah. So that's that's my biggest issue right now. Everything else, it'll get worked out. No. No, no you got to be kidding me. There's no way. You're the only people in America with no issue. And you're, you, it can't be the Eagles. They're, they're nine and one. It can't, you can't be complaining about your Eagles. Is gas your issue? Concern. Yeah, rising prices with the food, gas. We just heard all about the rising yeah. price. That's, that's pretty common today. Yes, that's about it. You want these prices down? A little bit. Inflation's killing you? A little bit. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, dear. Right, you Take guys. care. Yep. You know, there's always something to be happy about. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yep, you see made you. it to the wrong two, right? No, I don't know. you guys are happy. Good, good. No complaints. <laughs> see ya. So who, who am I here with? Layla Rain. Okay, Layla Rain. And also? Dan Stadzinski. Okay, you guys together? No. Just friends? Yeah. Okay, so what's, so what's your thoughts? What's your issue? What's the big thing that's on your mind? Oh, man. Oh, man. No, no, I, now I don't know. <laughs> uh, could, be, could be anything. Could be personal, could be political. Trump's back on Twitter. It could oh. be... Well, the topics. issue is preserving and protecting democracy. Democracy, okay. Yeah. Are we in a good place right now with democracy or are we in trouble? We're in some trouble, but the results of the last election were encouraging. So They hopefully. were encouraging because it wasn't the red wave that, right. that the Republicans thought was coming. Right, and hopefully we're on the right track to getting better. Uh, Donald Trump announced he wants back in. What's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen, but hopefully he won't get back in. He's on Twitter. Yeah, so I'm not. I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. You know, where, where do you fall politically? Is, is, is there anything we can do to fix this? Is it, is it go back uh, and, and re-elect Trump? Is it stick uh, with Biden? Is it, is it you're looking for someone new, something totally different? We're screwed in the United States. <laughs> we're screwed. You're either rich or you're barely hanging on to a thread. That's about it. You, me, everybody, the guy across the street, you're either overly rich and you can get away with a whole lot of stuff or you're screwed. Yeah, middle class used to be a home, a yep. job. You know, the, yep. the man worked, the woman could raise the kids, and now... Yeah, now it's nothing. Now it's $8 of butter at Acme. That's what it is. Thanks for your time, man. No problem, man. Yep, Have a good see one. ya. Would you bring back Trump? You going to vote for him? Yeah. 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 And like, he's a ruthless businessman, but he... He got those things done. Trump, is he a liar? Is, is he lumped in there? Or is perhaps he speaks more truth 
and that's why people hate him. What do you think? Well, that's a very good question. I will tell you based on when he first... Now, I knew him, obviously, prior because of the business that I'm in, based on real estate, right? But I would say, in the beginning, I thought that he was not like because all he did was tell the truth, and he tell, told it in a way. So some people tell you that I like you, man, I love your eyes, but they really don't like you, and they don't like your eyes, okay? Uh, some people like him will come and say, I don't like you. I don't like what you're wearing, I don't like your smile, or whatever, right? And they, and they move on, right? I think there are there can be good contributions from shitty people i just don't think those shitty things should be overlooked if you know the person is overwhelmingly not contributing in a positive way to the world how about uh how about trump is he a shitty person that maybe did some contributions can you can you make a case for him economy dollar value something no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> is America doing good? Is America in trouble? Ukraine? We're sending billions upon billions of dollars there. Uh, you know, it could be uh, Elon Musk taking over Twitter. Yeah. Really, really, whatever. And those are just some issues that people are talking about. But it could be anything. It's, it's not particularly on my mind, but I think the whole um, Elon Musk buying out Twitter and then um, kind of. I, I don't know, I guess like saying it was a move for freedom of speech and then uh, bitching about people making jokes about him. That was <laughs> that was a little funny. Yeah. I think also I just saw recently, I don't know, see, I don't know like the validity of it because it was like a TikTok. Right. But um, I saw it and I thought it was pretty interesting. And I didn't, again, I took it at face value. But uh, apparently like uh, a lot of Elon Musk's credentials are like completely fake. Like what? Like what? What's, what's so fake? Um... I mean, it's okay. I know you said you're not sure yeah. because it's on TikTok. I'd have degree, to look into right? it. Yeah. It was There's something some about, like, he lied about getting into a PhD program, and then also he lied about um, having a, a BS in, um, what was it? Legal, <laughs> social, political. Yeah, I, I, I lean off with, with voting, but it really could be anything. America, where is it? Is it good? Is it bad? Oh, no I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just so sorry. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just, you can get in trouble. You can get fired. You can do a job. Isn't that a shame? First oh. Amendment, yeah. and you, this is America. You can say anything you want, and we don't say anything. Mm. Tragic, I'm right? Enough, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you guys in law? Hello. Are you in real estate? Really? Yeah. Then what are you gonna? You gonna get fired from your husband's? <laughs> what job are you gonna lose? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think you're getting fired. All right, ladies. Thanks a lot. Destroy it. Yeah, we're we, uh, we gonna bring it back. Is it we're gonna we're gonna do it? The the make America great again. Is that gonna happen? It's coming. It's back now. The problem is we don't need to make America great now. Great again. It's great now, okay. and it should stay there. Thought, <laughs> thanks for your time. <laughs> See ya. Oh, she had a. Pro she said everything's horrible, but then she said everything's great. I think the the Trump litmus test came out and freaked her out. Yeah, I just throw that slogan out there just to see the reaction. I, I don't know. She wants to talk. She doesn't want to talk. You get that a lot. Uh, Delaware looks good. Did you see a Delaware? Yeah. Check it out. Uh, do I have a one line of audio, single top line of audio with a microphone symbol? Okay, so here we are. We're in beautiful Bordentown, New Jersey. Mark walked around. He talked to the people. We took it back to uh, the old school, giving people the opportunity to talk about their issues. And the reason I wanted to come here so long is because this is the home of Thomas Paine's original printing press, which garnered George Washington's army 3%, which is incredible because without Thomas Paine, without his wildly popular little pamphlet, we wouldn't have had 3%. If Washington's army didn't have 3%, which is already a very small percentage, we would have not had any support for Washington's army, and therefore we probably wouldn't have the United States today. So I consider this the most historically significant town in New Jersey, maybe the world, maybe the country. And we also had a beautiful Point Breeze mansion that was Napoleon's brother, uh, Napoleon's older brother, uh, he had been put in power in Spain by Napoleon, and then he absconded with all, uh, most of the gold of the Spanish vault, the Spanish royal vault, which was really all of the money that Spain had. And he came here, he, he bounced back and forth between Philadelphia and New York for a while, and then 
built beautiful Point Breeze and lived right here in beautiful Bordentown, New Jersey. So thank you for watching and thank you for exploring and enjoying the history with us today. God bless. All right, guys, uh, that was Bordentown. Very historic. I didn't know just how deep in history, American history, uh, this town was and how significant it was uh, to our republic and to freedom of speech. So it was cool. We got the thoughts of the people. Some people wanted to talk. Some people didn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, we went back to basics a little bit. That's what Nick wanted. Nick said, let's go back to basics. And, uh, you know, we got their thoughts, got their issues. It, I would tell you that of all of them, multiple people talked about uh, the economy, talked about the value of the dollar, talked about their money not going as far. Uh, so that seems to be a, a pressing issue here in, you know, uh, Thanksgiving time, holiday time, you know, just before uh, 2023. So if you like what we see, you know the deal. Like, share, subscribe. I hate asking. I hate asking. I never was a subscriber to anything, and now I see the, the importance of it. Uh, and uh, I'm on Twitter, at Mark Naughton 9 And, of course, uh, if you have a business, if you have a product and you want to sell it, we are gaining serious attention, especially on Twitter, but on YouTube. We're going to be switching to Rumble. So uh, expect these views, these numbers to go up. Get in now. Paid partner sponsorship. Just reach out to Nick. Thanks. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.